Welcome to another video of Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Accessible Computing Access to Technology with Accessibility. Hi, this is your tech assistant Ratul. In this video, I am going to demonstrate about the basic settings of JAWS. Most of the screen reader users have installed JAWS, but they don't know how to set JAWS according to their needs. Watch this tutorial till the end you will be able to understand your needs and you can easily configure your jaws according to your preference this video is basically created for the basic users even know how to do that so just you can skip this video by pressing the like button if you visit first time my channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon choose all notifications to get latest posts so without any delay let's start i am going to the jaws help menu to go to jaws help menu you have to press insert plus j to open the jaws context menu jaws context menu option sub menu to move through items press up after that press h key Command search insert plus space J C. Then press Z or Z key for JAWS Startup Wizard. Leaving menus, JAWS Startup Wizard dialog. Help us improve freedom scientific products. Would you like to participate in our effort to improve freedom scientific products by submitting anonymous usage data? Participate checkbox. So please uncheck this box. If you don't want to participate or if you don't want Freedom Scientific to use your data for their research. If you take my recommendation, please ignore this and uncheck this box. I am pressing tab to move to the next option. Anonymous data collection policy link. This is the policy. If you press enter here, you can read their data collection policy. If you want to check this box checked, you have to read all that data policy because once you have checked this option you are agree and accept that data policy privacy policy link privacy policy this is the same if you wish you can check it out i'm pressing tab next button to activate press space bar alt plus n to activate an item you need to press space bar key or enter key i'm using enter key here I'm pressing enter. Enter speech settings rate 55. Left right slider 13% to increase or decrease use the arrow keys. Alt plus R. This is the first settings of JAWS, which is speech settings. Here we need to select the speech according to our preference. First option is speech rate. I mean, how fast should be your speed? This is a 13%. If we increase the speed, the speed will be increased. To, to increase or decrease, you have to press up and down arrow key. If I press up arrow key, it will say 14%, 14% 15% percent. Okay, so you can set as per your preference. For 13% punctuation combo box sum 2 of 4 to change this. Punctuation means comma full stop quotation dash etc etc so here are four options none some all and most you can set as per your preference to set this you have to use up and down arrow key to choose because this is a combo box every time you should use up and down arrow key to select any option from combo box or radio button I'm pressing tab to move the next item. Typing echo words radio button checked 3 of 4 to change the... Typing echoes means JAWS has the options to turn on or off characters and words. If you want to listen characters and words both, you have to choose the option from this radio button selection. If you want to use JAWS to read only the characters you can select from this radio button so you can explore by yourself 
Back button to activate. Back. Press next button to activate. So I'm going to the next screen. Enter run JAWS settings if you select start JAWS at the logon screen. JAWS so there are lots of options. You can explore yourself, but I'm going to tell you. Start JAWS at the logon screen checkbox not checked. Such if you want to use JAWS as your primary screen reader, you must enable or check this box checked. This means whenever you log in your windows or start your computer, the JAWS will be started automatically. I'm pressing tab. Start JAWS after logon for all users checkbox not checked. You can create multiple users in one windows or one way OS. So this option is used either you want to use uh, suppose you are uh, you have one computer and you and your brother are using the same computer so you can set an ui or user account for you and another user account for your brother if you check this box checked every time whenever windows will be logged on either your account or your brother's account no matter jaws will start it if you uncheck this box then you need to select for which user you want to start your jaws automatically i hope i am clear so for my case i'm not checking this box I'm pressing tab. Start JAWS after logon for this user. Combo box never two of three. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. All Startup combo box. This is the combo box. There I have selected never because I am using primarily NVDA. Before I was using JAWS, but currently I'm using NVDA. You can select as per your preference. There's options using the all user setting three of three using the all user setting never never two, always one always. of three never so if you want to use primarily jaws then you have to select always from this combo box run jaws from system tray checkbox checked a clear check mark press space if you check this box checked then the jaws dialog will not appear because it is quite difficult to move with the jaws dialog when you press alt tab to switch between your windows then the jaws dialog will also be appeared if you run your jaws from system tray it will run in background you have to activate the jaws options or menus by pressing insert key plus j so that's why i am recommending to check this box checked but if you are a very very beginner user you can uncheck this box and test what will happen let's move to the next option prompt to confirm when exiting jaws checkbox not checked the check press space bar alt plus x if you're a new user you can check this box this will prompt you when you press insert plus a4 to exiting or quit jaws if you don't want to see the dialog or i mean confirmation dialog then you can uncheck this box back button to back. next button to next. activate press so i'm moving to the next screen enter common options smart navigation off radio button checked one of three to check. as you're a beginner i'm not touching this option just you can keep as it is forms mode auto radio button checked one Don't of change. three to check. use keyboard layout combo box laptop two of three so if you want to use laptop key or keyboard layout you can use if you want to use desktop keyboard layout you can use whenever you want to use laptop keyboard layout the caps lock key is enabled as your jaws layer key or jaws key which means by default insert key is working for the jaws key or nvidia key so when you choose laptop keyboard layout the caps lock key is also activated as a jaws key now if you use cash now if you use caps lock then you have to press twice to activate the caps lock ac uh, action because 
if you press one time it will activate the jaws key i hope i am clear if any problem then let me know into the comment section use virtual ribbon menus checkbox not checked to check Don't press touch this. Alt, initial state of num lock key turn off at startup radio button checked one of three touch. this option is for num lock key when you log in your windows or log on your windows then what will happen num lock key should be turned off or turned on this is the radio button options you can choose according to your preference moving to the next back button to activate press space back. bar alt next button to activate so I'm clicking press next space button. bar enter for bossy settings tutor messages announce menu and control help radio button checked for beginner by default it's very very helpful so don't touch this access key speak all radio button checked don't touch this for bossy level intermediate radio button checked verbosity level intermediate so for beginner you have to choose the beginner i'm pressing up arrow verbosity level beginner highest radio button checked beginner One highest highest means all the actions like if you copy anything it will say file copied to clipboard if you choose intermediate it will say just copied you can't understand what copied okay so once you are an intermediate user you can select the option I'm choosing verbosity level intermediate radio intermediate check. because I can understand what I need to copy or something like this okay so moving to the next back button to act back. next button to activate press space bar alt plus n so before going to the next I'd like to clear one thing that you have to listen the screen reader very very carefully because screen reader will first announce the options then it will announce the action name as well as it will announce the shortcut key if available see next button to activate press space bar alt plus n first is next button this is the option next next it says to activate press space bar is the actions what do you need to do or how to activate after that it says alt plus n which is the shortcut key to go to the next option or next screen or next button so I am pressing Alt plus N. Alt N. Braille translation settings. Language combo. I am not touching the Braille part because most of the users don't have any refreshable Braille display. So I, what I can do? I am pressing Alt plus N to go to the next screen. Alt N. Braille settings. Again. Braille mode. Alt N. Okay. That is no next button. So there is a finish button. I am pressing Shift tab. Cancel button. Again. To act, finish button to activate. Press space bar. So finish button activate press space bar. There is no shortcut key. That's why it doesn't say something. Okay. So if I press enter, then my setup is completed. Enter. This is the short demonstration how to set or how to configure JAWS after installed in your system or computer. I hope this explanation will help a lot to you. If really, then let me know into the comment section. Also, you can join us on Telegram. The link is given in the description below. Thank you for staying with me till the end. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay learning. This is Ratul signing off.